Here with Home Online, I got Trent Meacham. Uh, Trent, what brings you into uh, State Farm Center this afternoon, other than the big Indiana-Illinois game? Well, yeah, this is going to be fun tonight, but um, I'm filling in for Deion Thomas on the call, on the radio call today, so um, I think he's a little sick, so hopefully he's not too bad and feel bad for him, but um, I'm happy to step in, and, and uh, they had to go to the bench today and call me in, so I'm, I'm excited to be on the call today. Okay, so you're the relief guy. I get you. So what are you expecting today? I mean, today Indiana's kind of been up and down, but they're a very, very dangerous team. They're athletic, and some of those teams have given Illinois problems in the past. What, what are your thoughts and predictions on today's game? Yeah, they're a team that's, that's, that has been up and down, but they can be tough. Obviously, interior, uh, Trace Jackson Davis is, is really good. He's a pro. Justin Smith is good. I, I think the key for Illini is can we dominate the perimeter? I think all of our guards are superior to any one that they throw out there. A year ago, Rob Finnessy controlled this game, dominated this game. Now, I think the style of play that we played, pressuring, fed into to that. And so it's going to be tougher on him this year. But I think our guards, Io, Trent Frazier, uh, Andres Feliz, Alan Griffin, what can he bring? We should dominate on the perimeter. If we do that, I think we can control this game. Okay, a lot of people have been talking about uh, Trent struggling a little bit with his shooting a little bit and also Georgie. And a lot of people nationally think if those two – key players can turn it around. Illinois can make a deep run to the NCAA tournaments. But what are your thoughts on those two? Because they have struggled recently. They have, and I think Trent Frazier's uh, shooting has been more prolonged than, than I would have expected because I think he's such a good shooter. But he's given so much effort on the defensive end that sometimes that can take it out of you. His focus isn't on just, you know, let loose and get 15 reps up like he was his freshman, sophomore year. Now he has, you know, really more important priorities. And if he was going, would that have allowed Alan Griffin, for example, to get off like he did last game. You know, there's always, you're, you're kind of giving away something if if, if, um, if both those guys are really producing, but hopefully they can stay locked in because if we want to make a run in the Big Ten tournament, if we want to make a run in the NCAA tournament, we're going to need different guys to step in, um, especially thinking of Georgie, foul trouble with Kofi. Uh, we can be light on the print on the on the interior if Georgie isn't producing and we don't need him to score 15 a game 20 a game but can he come in and bring great energy defend rebound and give us a, a presence in the post if he could do that that's a huge punch to this team and if we want to make a deep run we're going to need those guys to step up on a given night okay last question uh, what do you not a score but what's your prediction what do you think Illinois needs to do to get this win today? tonight well I talked about dominating the perimeter. I think the other thing is just from an emotional standpoint, I think this place is going to be rocking tonight. Um, Indiana's coming in, uh, backs against the wall. They're fighting for an NCAC. They're right there on the bubble. So can we match their intensity? If we do that, if we dominate the perimeter, you know, that interior matchup is going to be fun. But I think intensity, dominating the perimeter, we do that. I think we can comfortably win this game. It's not going to be easy, though. All right. Thanks, Trent. Good to see you. Thank you.